Once upon a time, there was a very fat and old man that takes two types of medicine with number one being a medicine that makes him skinnier and number two being a medicine that makes him look and feel younger. When he was good enough to stop taking the medicine, he said, I think I'm going to go somewhere. How about an iceberg? So the man got in his super light speed morphing car and went into the distance in a forest making a trail of vaporized dead trees behind him because he went so fast that he left a giant shockwave every foot he traveled which vaporized all the trees in his path. When he got to the beach, about 1,000 miles away from his home instantly, he drove into the water just a little bit and pushed a button which turned his car into a submarine and launched a submarine into the water. Then, he drove to the biggest iceberg he could find on his radar at light speed, vaporizing the water behind him with a submarine flaming underwater due to the force of the water hitting it. When he got there, the flaming stopped. Then, he jumped out of his submarine and on top of the iceberg. He dug and dug until he found the middle where there were many, many rare gemstones. He grabbed all the gems and noticed that they took up about half of the submarine. I didn't think it would take this much space. I can't get in now. Luckily, I know exactly how to fix this, he said. So he added a portal in the submarine which will take the gems into an alternate dimension. He also took all of the gems from the nearby icebergs because... Why not? After that, he put all of his gems into the portal and went back to the beach with his submarine flaming which left a trail of vaporized water which means that he invented a way to control when a rainstorm happens because the vaporized water will eventually rain down on the public. Then morphed his submarine into a car and went home at of course light speed. When he got there, he pushed a button which emptied the gems into another portal which teleported them into his infinite storage space safe and then went through a portal which took him to a different habitable planet with icebergs after he took all of the gems out of all of the icebergs on Earth. He mined all of the gems in all of the icebergs on the planet which we will call Ice Virgo and put them in the portal in his portal submarine which teleports them to the man's infinite storage space safe on Earth. He jumped in too. The man was teleported next to it. He turned the submarine into a car in the water and created a giant portal under the car which teleported it onto his driveway and went to all of the other habitable planets in the universe and mined all of the gems from them and went to his home from the last one the same way he was before. He came home to find out that his infinite storage space safe exploded. Then the universe encountered an error because the explosion made too much of a mess, so the universe got restarted. <laughs> then the old man's clone skeleton fell on his car and exploded it. Then a random UFO came down from the sky and put out the fire. Then a giant laser beam came down from the sky. Then the man's car appeared and drove off. What a beautiful sunset. I wish they would give me my car back, the old man said. Meanwhile, Kim Jong-un got out of his car and said who should I destroy today? I know, I should destroy that old man for stealing all of those iceberg gems, but how? Then a rocket launcher appeared in his hands. Mahahahaha, he said and drove into the water and turned his car into a boat and in a few seconds he arrived at the other beach. Then he turned his boat into a helicopter and flew to the old man's house. Then he got his rocket launcher out and shot it but it was too late. His helicopter got destroyed because the rocket bounced off of the man's force field. Yay, my car is back. Time to mine some icebergs the man said. Did I miss any gems?
Nope. All clear. Then he got abducted by the same UFO from before. Ah, finally awake are you. We kept an eye on you since we put out that fire to see if you said thank you. You didn't, so we abducted you and kept you in our UFO. Hey, trapper number 5, did you get that cell ready for no name? Yes, it's ready. Mahahahahahaha. Mahahahahahahahaha. Then he got thrown in his cell. Have a good time, said the alien. Ow, said the man because he got thrown into the wall by the aliens. A few days later, the man found out that they forgot to close the window and flew out of the cell with his super light speed space jetpack. Bye suckers, said the man. When the man landed on Earth, he went into his house and pushed a button on a device which teleported the UFO without the aliens in it and teleported the alien leader in the man's test tube with a delayed teleport and shot a laser at his house which went through the window and hit the camera. What? The man said surprised. It, it worked. What if I shoot it at my safe? Yes! Oh, here he comes. Then the alien leader arrived in the test tube. Dude, let me out. No paha, you are going to be stuck in there for all of eternity. Ugh. <laughs>